you're looking at the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 on the left and the Note 20 Ultra on the right. Let's start with the looks of these two phones. The Note 20 has a 6.7 inch flat screen. That's right, you heard me correctly. There is no curved display on this version of the Note. It has a resolution of 2400 by 1080 with a 60 hertz refresh rate. Then there's the beast, the Note 20 Ultra. It's sporting a 6.9 inch curved screen with a resolution of 3088 by 1440. Both phones have incredibly small bezels. Those displays go nearly edge to edge. The Ultra also gets a 120 hertz refresh rate. That means you'll see super smooth scrolling. Both have a 10 megapixel selfie camera, but the cutout on the regular Note looks a tad larger. The Ultra is covered in the new Gorilla Glass Victus on the front and back. This new glass is supposed to be more scratch resistant and capable of handling drops of up to two meters. The two Notes look pretty dang sleek from the front. Let's look at the party in the back. Both Notes have rectangular camera bumps like the S20. The Note 20 has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera on the top, a 12 megapixel wide angle lens in the middle with a 64 megapixel telephoto lens on the bottom. Samsung says you get up to 30x super resolution zoom on the Note 20. Over on the Ultra, you're looking at a pretty big camera unit. It really is quite pronounced. Here's the rundown, a 12 megapixel ultra wide on top. The middle has a 108 megapixel wide angle camera and the bottom is a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. The Ultra also gets a new laser autofocus sensor. That sensor is supposed to be very fast and you'll be able to capture photos really quickly. You also get a 5X optical zoom in there. The Note 20 Ultra has a 50X super resolution zoom. This looks like a small admission by Samsung that the 100X space zoom that was on the S20 Ultra was not all that it was cracked up to be. In our brief time with the Notes, the autofocus seemed very fast on the Ultra. The zooming looked good too, but we'll have a lot more to say about camera quality once we get to do a full review. Samsung has some new tricks for video in the new Notes. There's a pro video mode that captures 8K resolution footage at 24 frames per second. The video is shot in a 21 by nine aspect ratio like many movies. The pro video mode had lots of options so you could control things like shutter speed, exposure, and ISO. This will be available on both versions of the Note. The Note 20 looks quite different than the Note 10. Samsung did away with its Aura Glow finishes that you could find on the previous generation Notes. We got to see both the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra in Mystic Bronze. That's the only color option they share. The Note 20 will also be available in Mystic Gray and Mystic Green. All Note 20s come with a matte finish and a polycarbonate backing. The new matte finishes don't collect fingerprints like the older Notes. The Ultra gets glossy finishes for its Mystic White and Mystic Black variants. Mystic Bronze still has a matte finish. If we're talking about the Note, we have to talk about the S Pen. The S Pen has a new home. It's on the left side of the device instead of the right. It seemed easy to pop out and in during the limited time we got our hands on it. As for colors, the S Pen will match the color of the phone. The Ultra gets a faster response rate with its S Pen when compared to the regular Note 20. However, the response rate on both Note 20s is faster than the previous generation Note. Additionally, the S Pen supports new gestures. You should be able to go back to the home screen or take a screenshot by moving the pen. You can also gesture from across the room if that's something you wanted to do. Samsung also says its Notes app will autosave and sync. Additionally, it'll be able to straighten up your messy handwriting. If you have neat penmanship, this won't matter to you. Since Samsung is positioning the Notes as powered devices, inside both, you get the top of the line Snapdragon 865 Plus along with 5G. The smaller Note packs eight gigs of RAM with 128 gigabytes of storage. If you move to the Ultra, you get 12 gigs of RAM, but two options for storage, 128 gigs or half a terabyte of internal storage. Want even more storage? Then you better get the Ultra. It has a micro SD card slot that supports an additional one terabyte. The regular Note 20 does not have a micro SD card slot. Cue the sad trombone. Do you like big batteries? Who doesn't? 
The Note 20 has a 4300 milliamp hour battery. The Note 20 Ultra has a 4500 milliamp hour battery. These batteries are both bigger than the previous generation Note. We'll have info on how long these devices survive with our full review and battery tests. As for waterproofing, you're looking at an IP68 rating, that's the same as the Note 10, and you can still use the Note 20 as a wireless charger for other devices. Here are some more odds and ends. Wireless DeX is a reality. For this to work, both the Note and the TV need to be on the same network. The TV also needs to have Miracast support. Samsung also has a deal with Microsoft. Starting on September 15th, you'll be able to play over 100 Xbox games with Xbox Game Pass Ultimate on the Note 20 series. And the most fun part, the pricing. The Note 20 is $9.99. The Note 20 Ultra starts at $12.99. If this crazy expensive phone isn't your cup of tea, why don't you check out that new Pixel 4a? You could buy almost three of them for the price of one Note 20. I'm very curious about this new Note and cannot wait to get my hands on one. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and no, we're not sponsored by Samsung.